Hey friends, and welcome back to Underdog Investing. So I'm not an expert at cryptocurrencies, but I do enjoy researching different kinds of investments. And one of the things that I look for when it comes to uh, investing in a product or a company is I like to look at their mission statement. Do they have a ambition to uh, change the world for the better? And usually when the answer is yes, I get quite excited. So whilst researching different kinds of cryptocurrencies, I came across Cardano. So I just wanted to share some of my thoughts with you uh, because I found them very interesting and I'm also looking to invest in Cardano. So before I jump into this, I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates. So starting with this first article, so Charles Hoskinson, he is the founder of uh, Cardano and he was also the co-founder of Ethereum. So Cardano can help millions of Africans have digital identities. And Cardano is working with several African governments to enable citizens to create digital identities linked to wallets or property by employing its blockchain. Okay, so when I say a mission statement, which has a huge positive impact, this is exactly the kind of thing that I'm talking about. If we look at Africa, Africa is a huge developing continent, which has plenty of resources um, which are just uh, ready to be tapped into but there's just so many different barriers one of which is a financial barrier the problem is the corrupt uh, financial ecosystem of Africa and also the fact that it's very fragmented so what Charles Hoskinson the founder of Cardano wants to do is basically he wants to unite the uh, financial ecosystem um, by by using Cardano as um, basically the uh, tool to do that. And he wants to empower Africans by giving them a financial digital identity. So this is a huge ambition and a massive mission to change the world in a positive way. And it's larger than just the cryptocurrency by itself. So this is why Cardano in particular made me very interested. Now that's not to say that things like Bitcoin and Ethereum don't have their own large ambitions. If you look at Bitcoin, their ambition is to replace gold as a store of value and as a hedge against inflation. So that's massive in itself. That's, I would say, a $10 trillion industry um, if we look at gold's market cap. And then you've got Ethereum, which is looking at um, smart contracts and decentralized applications, which is also huge. But in terms of a positive impact in the world, I don't think you can beat Cardano. The fact that they want to empower Africans and um, really allow this continent, uh, which has so much potential, to actually be able to tap into that potential. So this really excites me. And if we have a look um, at some of the most successful companies in the history, um, they've always had a mission which is larger than their own product or uh, company. So Bill Gates, for example, Microsoft was founded with the vision of a computer on every desk and in every home. So they weren't just thinking about building computers. They were thinking about empowering people with information uh, at their desk in their home. If we look at Tesla, their ambition wasn't just to build cars. Their ambition was to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. And if I had to say what uh, Cardano's mission is, it would be to create a financial infrastructure that empowers Africans by giving them a digital identity. And this will allow them to tap into the potential and the resources that this country has and deserves to show the world. Okay, so there was a recent Blockchain Africa conference um, that happened a few days ago uh, in which Charles Hoskinson said some really important things. And I just want to go through some of the um, uh, interesting things he mentioned. So we are at the cusp of deals and initiatives this year, which will bring millions of users through public private partnerships into the Cardano system. It means that for a large group of people, for the first time in their lives, they will have a digital identity that also can be linked to wallets, that also can be linked to payment systems, that also could be linked to property, that can enjoy rich metadata and other such things. And this is the highest goal because if we can achieve these things, then it means functionally a new economy can form. 
the great liquefaction of over $5 trillion of wealth can happen. You can, sorry, you see, the reality is that Africa is not a poor continent and the African nations collectively are not poor. They are rather a situation where they have tremendous potential and real wealth, but that wealth is inaccessible due to bad systems and difficulty globalizing the nation states. So in the Cardano ecosystem, it is our belief that it is our belief and hope that over the next five years, a meaningful percentage of the entrepreneurs who deploy infrastructure, it could be peer-to-peer -peer lending system, remittance system, ATM network, basic internet access, micro ISPs, power generation, or whatever it might be, will likely come from a pan-African view. And over the next five years, our staff on the ground in Africa will likely scale from the dozens to hundreds, if not thousands, and instead of having just uh, one headquarter, it's likely we'll have at least four or five headquarters throughout the continent. For example, we've already started a campaign to build up resources and access the personnel in the country of Ghana. So this just reiterates my point uh, about the fact that they uh, want to tap, it, they want to empower the African people to tap into that potential uh, of the resources that Africans have. Um, and yeah, so this is just larger than just cryptocurrencies by itself. They really want to create an ecosystem, a financial infrastructure. Um, and I think this will have a larger impact than things like Bitcoin. Um, and it is on the level of Ethereum, if not larger, personally, I think. So finally talking about the price of Cardano. So like I said, I'm not a cryptocurrency expert. Um, so I'm not going to try and analyze these charts. What I will say is that you can see we've had a massive spike uh, since the start of the year. So we were at $0.18 um, at the start of the year and now we're around $1.20. So we've gone up almost six times uh, since the start of the year. That's in, in about three and a half months. And um, yeah, I think people are realizing the potential of uh, Cardano. Uh, as well as the fact that we've had this uh, altcoin cycle where basically all the cryptocurrencies are spiking um, around this time. Uh, so what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to uh, invest some of my money, I'd say 1-2% to of my uh, portfolio into Cardano. Um, and the reason for that is because if we have a look at the market cap of Cardano, it's 40 billion. But if we have a look at what they're trying to achieve, this could potentially be a trillion dollar market cap at least if they are able to execute in their uh, actual mission. Now, there's plenty of hurdles to overcome to get to what they want to achieve, but I think if they're able to execute, really this can be a tr at least a trillion dollars in market cap, which is a massive return at today's price. Um, that's not to say that there aren't huge risks, for example, other cryptocurrencies who um, might have better systems uh, in place and could disrupt Cardano, or maybe they are not able to execute, um, or maybe the fact that these altcoin cycles are very volatile and you never know um, when these cryptocurrencies could uh, tank. But personally, I think that they have um, a large ambition and as well as the fact that this uh, ambition is trying to achieve something very positive in terms of impact on this earth. So I'm going to invest some into it. Uh, you might think it sounds crazy that Cardano could reach a trillion dollars, but if we have a look at Bitcoin, for example, it's at a trillion dollars market cap. And just a few years ago, it was at $800. Now it's at 57,000. So they were at Cardano's market cap of 40 billion not too long ago. So Honestly, I think cryptocurrencies are changing the world, but it is very risky at the moment and we do have to be very careful. That's why only a small portion of my portfolio is going to Cardano. Um, I do hold some Bitcoin and Ethereum as well. Um, so yeah, that is the end of the video. Most of you, or a lot of you could probably uh, give me some insight into Cardano. You probably know a lot more about Cardano than me, so I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.